Hey there, welcome to our patio. I'm Lauren, this is Casey. We're two of Festival's Mealtime Mentors, and today we are sharing a unique either center of the plate option or appetizer for your grill. That's right, Lauren. Today we're making chipotle lime grilled cauliflower steaks with garlic, avocado, aioli. I got it all. <laughs> Good work. It's a mouthful, yeah. but all these flavors are perfect for our cauliflower, which is what we're working with today. So mm -hmm. as Casey said, cauliflower steaks, um, the way we turn them into steaks, if you will, um, we took two large cauliflower heads, um, we took off the leaves at the bottom and then just sliced it into about three inch um, steaks, if yes. you will, mm -hmm. um, which is what we have here. Um, any of the florets that fall off or you have extra, um, those are also great for grilling, like in a grill pan. Sure. Um, or of course you can save them for veggie dips and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, but these are our steaks that we're working with today, just cauliflower. Yep, awesome. So then to get started on the oil that we're going to brush on the cauliflower when we put them on the grill, we're going to start with a little bit of honey. We have lots of kind of Hispanic flavors here that we are working with. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the theme throughout everything that we're adding to the cauliflower. Yes, we have olive oil, lime juice, and of course garlic, hello. Yes. Can't get enough of that. So I'll just whisk that, whisk that together quickly. And then what I will be doing is brushing about half of that on one side of our cauliflower. Yep. Thank you. There you go. All right, so while Lauren works on that, then I'm going to move on to our rub to put on top of the cauliflower. So for this rub, we are going to mix lime zest. We have paprika, chipotle powder, and some salt. And that chipotle powder is really important for this, um, for this rub. It really adds that kind of smoky really savory flavor that we want with these cauliflower yes, steaks. and it makes it look really cool, yes. too. Very appetizing. Great. So time right. to add that rub, yep. again, just to this one side that we're working with right now. Mm -hmm. And as Lauren mentioned, um, so these are cauliflower steaks, but they're, they could be a great center of the plate option, um, but also a really good side dish. Um, for sure. Even if you are having, you know, some kind of meat or something for that, they're so tasty and perfect for either one. Yeah. So we have our, our grill growing here that we have going about medium high. I'm going to add these to our grill um, and I'm going to make sure to, I'm going to actually pull this out a little bit here so I can get in here, sure. um, put the season side down right onto the grates. Mm -hmm. And these are going to grill for about five minutes, um, and then we will flip them, and they'll cook for another five minutes. Yes. Um, but before I close the grill and let them cook, whoops, <laughs> this one broke. We got two smaller steaks here. Yes. This one. That's good. Um, I'm gonna brush the other side with that awesome oil mixture that Casey made, and then the rub as well. Ooh, that rub smells so good already. Doesn't it? Getting Super smoky, smoky. With the grill. All right, so I'm gonna grab our oil here, do a quick brush again. The flavors come through um, in that oil too with the honey and the lime juice that we added in there. Instead of just like a simple oil rub um, on something that you're putting on the grill, I like that idea of adding just a little extra to the oil itself to add a little bit more flavor. Yes, and the rub makes it look super gourmet. Yes, it does. Oh my gosh, look at that. Doesn't that look awesome? It, it does. Smells super good too. I can't get over how like the grill makes that um, flavor, the aroma, and, and the flavor come out so much more. Oh yes, definitely. So five minutes, we will flip, cook another five minutes. But before that, yes. So now aioli. we're going to make our aioli. So as promised, we have a garlic avocado aioli. So you guessed it, we've got avocado here. We're gonna add some garlic. And I love making aiolis because it's just a really simple way to dress up a food like cauliflower we're working with today. Yes. Great as a dip, great as a sauce. So simple. And some mayonnaise. That's it. So we're just gonna mash this together. And the avocado fits in nicely here with the theme too for mm -hmm. um, the other flavors that we have going on. Very yes. fresh. Yep, a nice kind of 
like a creamy complement to all the spiciness that's going on with that rub. Yes. So Casey will finish mixing that up and then we will come back when our cauliflower steaks are ready to go. All right, look at these. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna turn the grill off. These look good. Um, we've cooked them five minutes on one side, five minutes on the other side. Oh my gosh. Look at how beautiful. It looks amazing, it smells amazing. Let's see if it tastes amazing. Oh, but got first to, we've right? got some. Yes, yeah, so we've got some garnishes. A mm -hmm. little bit of, a couple cilantro, Yum. leaves, lime wedge. And then I will add our garlic avocado aioli. The aioli really just helps add some of that nice creaminess to this dish. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna kind of spread this. it around a little bit. This would good be idea. so good with a margarita. Oh my gosh, that would be perfect. All the same nice kind of summer. flavors yes. going on. Mmm. I get so much of the lime and the smokiness. Mm -hmm. And the aioli just ties it all together so well. So, so good. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Well, try something unique with this recipe. And for more recipes and resources from your Mealtime Mentors, visit bestfoods.com.